Hello friend, welcome to my channel, myself Ananda and today we are going to explore how to deploy application on cloud app from any point code builder. So I have already uh, shared few more videos on the same topic. Please, uh, if you have not gone through those videos, so my request first to go through those videos, then come back and start watching this video because this video is a continuation to earlier videos. Also, my request, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do so and click on the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I will come up with a new video. So let's start and see how we can deploy application on cloud. So I have logged into my AnyPoint platform trial account and then I click on the any point code builder and then I click launch web ID and that launched the any point code builder for me and this is the application what we are I mean it's a very simple hello world kind of application with which we are playing around and exploring any point code builder so we are now going to deploy this any point uh, this application to cloud so before start what I need to do I need to log into and in, from any point code builder i need to log into any point platform so that there is a connection between any point platform and any point code builder so for that what i need to do i need to click i mean i need to press shift control and p to open the command palette and then i have to select log into any point platform so i have already shown this step earlier also in my earlier videos click on allow and click on open and that's it now it's logged in so now if you it's it's getting logged in so yes i think now it's get logged in yes if you can see the user id over here that means you are your uh, any point port builder is now connected with any point platform so once it is done then what we'll do we will start the deployment so i can open the command palette and then i can select i mean uh, search for uh, deploy to cloud hub option this option or else i can click on this particular icon this will also it this is for deploy to cloud hub so this, this will also help me to deploy to cloud hub. so now from any point code builder if we have to deploy uh, to cloud hub we have to create a deployment file which is deploy.json under this uh, resource i mean i have to create it under source resource uh, folder I have to create that file. But if I have not created this file, means first time I am deploying this application and this file is not created, I need not to manually create it. When I will try to deploy first time to cloud up uh, as part of deployment, automatically that file will generate. So we will see to it. But before moving forward, another note, I mean, important point, before you do the deployment, please check that whether you have access to deploy code on cloud hub because if you don't have access then it will not work i mean your um, any point platform user should have access or should have permission to deploy application on runtime manager so i will go to user and since it's trial version it's only me who is in there there as a user and then you go to runtime manager and ensure that all these permissions are selected and you have, I mean, you have uh, a permission to create application. Basically, you can create or delete or application on runtime manager. So these applications, both on design and sandbox, these are the environment. I should have all this permission and this is needs to be checked before start deployment from any point code builder. Okay. Now, let's click on this icon, deploy to cloud. Once I click on this icon, it should start creating a, yes, it's already created a deploy.json file. So this is the default deploy.json file. Now, one another thing what you need to do, uh, you can go to runtime manager. This is usually I used to do uh, because since cloud up 1.0, I have to deploy the application name needs to be universally unique. So first you check that whether whatever application name 
you have you are providing or automatically created for deployed or json that is unique or not so you can click on deploy that application and then you can paste this name and then see that whether it is uh it's a unique sorry i'm trying it on cloud or two.o so please don't use cloud or two.o use cloud hub because yeah so it's not a unique name so it's giving me an error so while uh, discussing this also let me highlight the fact that at this moment any point code builder only support deployment on cloud hub uh, 1.0 so there is no su support as of now to directly deploy any point uh, deploy application from any point code builder to cloud hub 2.0 anyways so now let me change this application name since it is not unique yes now it's a unique name okay i will deploy this application from any point code builder so i'm not going to do anything okay, let me go to application section again and you can see that there is no application deployed yet i will go to yeah i will deploy it on sandbox so i'm not switching it to design so on in sandbox environment you can see there is no application deployed yet so let me change it to a unique name what i just tested that this name is unique now i am going to uh, start the deployment so let's start deployment so first time i click on that icon because there was no deployed or json file created so it's created the deployed or json file now i click on the same icon now it's asking me which environment i should deploy the app so I will click sandbox and already you notice that at the beginning I have created, I mean, established the connection between this any point code builder and I mean my any point trial account by logging into it. Uh, so that's why automatically it takes the environment wherever I have access or whatever environments are available under the or uh, in my any point platform or and it show me all those options and out of that environment options i have choose i choose uh, of, uh, sandbox so now it is trying to deploy the code on sandbox so let me see if anything yeah so it start deploying so it might take some time and let me pause the video once the deployment uh, completed we'll come back and see okay so the application is now got deployed and started so from the log i can see that the application is started uh, if i go to dashboard sorry application i will see that this application is up and running in cloud hub 1.0 that means my deployment got successful and let me check this app url if i click on this and then share provide the endpoint yes now i am getting output also so my deployment is working fine. So this is how you can deploy your application from any point port, port builder to cloud up 1.0. Once again, cloud, it's only support cloud up 1.0 for deployment at this moment, any point port builder. As of now, it's not yet supporting uh, deployment on cloud up uh, 2.0. One more thing I want to share because I was initially facing some issue in getting this option. So I raised a ticket uh, on, uh, I mean, I, I mean, I uh, raised an issue with uh, product team on GitHub and they immediately resolved the issue for me. It's a very prompt uh, response from a mules of pro any point code builder product team. Thanks to them. I want to convey my thanks through my video. And one thing I would like to share with everyone that if you are facing any issue because it's in beta version or if you have any observation, please report it to uh, GitHub. Uh, you will see there is an option. Uh, you will see that uh, from any point port builder page, there is an option that where a MuleSoft is gathering all the feedback and accordingly product team is working. So this is very important because this will help to build a robust product when it will come from beta version to actual implementation version when it will come up, that product will be much robust. So yes, keep on doing updating this uh, or providing your feedback.
so with that this is the end of the video if you enjoy the video please do like share and comment and also please do subscribe because that's a big motivation for me to come up with many such uh, videos like this uh, so i will very soon come up with one more video thanks for being with me and till then bye bye